Hi everyone, today I'm going to take you through installing Prusa Slicer software on an Apple computer. So go to your browser, type in Prusa Slicer download, and you can click the first option here, and that will bring you to your downloads page. It will pick up the system that you're using, so I'm using a Mac, um, but if you're using Windows or Linux, you can also download for these systems too. So click download, and don't worry about entering anything here, we we'll just wait for the download to begin. And once it's downloaded, click and it will open your finder, and you can double click here and you should be able to drag and drop into your applications folder. Now, if like me, you already have the software downloaded, it will ask you, do you want to replace? So I'll click yes for this. If this is a fresh download, you won't get this option. So when it's installed, go to your applications and you can drag and drop to create a shortcut on your dock, or you can just double click on the Prusa slicer and it will open the software. Now, it will tell you if there's a configuration update available, and if so, please go ahead and install. Um, if this is your first time installing the software, you will be brought into the Configuration Assistant automatically. But because I have the software downloaded already, I will need to go into the Configuration Assistant manually. So go to your menu, go into Configuration, Configuration Assistant, and this will bring you through the setup process. So I'll walk you through some of the settings that I choose for my system. Click on next and this will bring you through the printer models that you can choose from. So the first page would be the Prusa printers. So I've got a Prusa Mini and a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I also have a Mark 3S and again it's a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So I select these and that's all I have from this page. Click on next and next. And this page is for other printer manufacturers. So I have an Ultimaker, so I tick that and click next and it is an Ultimaker 2 and it's a 0.4 millimeter nozzle so that's fine click next and leave this blank next and here we can choose our filament profiles now the default is to select quite a few um, filaments which I find sometimes this list is a little too long and it brings up filaments that I don't actually use so what I prefer to do is click none to deselect everything and I'm just going to manually choose what I do actually use regularly so I use Prusament, which is Prusamate filament. So I'm going to choose Prusament PLA and Prusament PETG. And for my Ultimaker, I'm going to choose a generic PLA and a generic PETG. And that's it for now. I can always add more filaments later. So I'll click next. I'm going to leave these two boxes checked. Next. Leave this checked. Next. And I'm going to leave this empty. Next. And this view mode is just how the software will open in terms of the options that you get. So you have simple, advanced and expert. So I'm going to just choose simple and you can always change this in the software later. And just click finish when you're done. That's the setup complete now. So you can see my three printers here that I've set up. If you want, you can add and remove printers in this window. And my filaments, as I have selected, are here too. And you can also add and remove filaments in this window too. If you go ahead and click add remove filament, it will bring you back through the configuration assistant and you can make your selections and click finish when done. If you ever want to go back in to make any other changes, you can go to configuration, configuration assistant, and you can walk through to any page where you need to make the change. And just remember to click finish when done, that will bring you back. So that's it. Setup is now complete for your Mac computer. Well done and happy printing.